Good morning, good morning, my lovely world. Happy Sunday for all of you guys. For the new members of my lovely world, my name is Diana Hernandez, and I do videos about traveling, about activities, and restaurants to go out and have dinner or breakfast and have fun with your family and friends. So today, I'm gonna be exploring with my girlfriend a few restaurants in Fort Lauderdale that are amazing. So if you guys want to know which restaurants I am going to do today, keep watching my video until the end. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enjoy your Sunday because this video is about to start. So we're gonna start with the first location. This location is a diner called Moonlight. And what's so cool about this diner is that as soon as you go inside, you feel like transported back to the 70s. So let's go inside to check it out. Follow me. So we're gonna walk around and maybe if they let me go inside the kitchen, we're gonna go inside the kitchen. And because I'm friends with the owner, she's gonna explain to me what's the best thing to eat here and to drink here. So let's continue. I just found a picture of how the diner used to look like before the, the, the remodeling. Look how different. Trying to find Jennifer inside the diner so we can interview her. Jennifer is one of my good friends and she is also happened to be the owner of Moonlight. So I don't see her, but as soon as I find her, I promise you guys we're gonna ask her a lot of questions about how everything started, what's the signature dish here, and the drinks, and which is the number one day that you guys can come and eat. I'm looking for Jennifer everywhere in this diner, and I can. Oh, hi! Hi, Amina! Hi, how are so this you? This is my friend Jennifer. Uh, and she's the owner as well. So I'm gonna ask her a lot of questions about this place. Okay, so let's get started. Ready? <laughs> okay, Amiga, so I wanna ask you this question. How this uh, concept started? Because I saw the picture over there, how the diner used to look like, yeah. and it was way different. Yeah. The way it looks like now is amazing. It's like 70s. Thank you, 60s. thank you. How everything started? So, um, American diners are iconic, they're always in movies and films, and a Greek couple came down from New York about 15-20 years ago and started the franchise of Moonlight Diners. They're actually all over the world. We only own the ones in South Florida, but they are in Russia and Venezuela, and um, I think there's still a few in Cuba and up north. Also, it's a franchise, and I also heard you guys recorded a lot of music videos here. Yes, we've had Faruco, we've had Carlos Vives, Carney Garcia. We've also been in an Orbitz commercial, we've been in a Disney commercial, and we made Vogue this year. We did a oh, big Vogue wow. campaign, yeah. Vogue, and now you're gonna be on my channel. Yeah, I mean, it's not Vogue or Faruco, yeah, but, but still, <laughs> it's fabulous. Oh my god, yeah. look what she just gave me. Yeah, my favorite mimosas on Sunday. Exactly. And what are you drinking? I'm drinking our Italian classic roast coffee. Wow. So, guys, we're gonna show you a signature drink. Let me just taste this, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, that's the way I should start every Sunday. Yeah, so. let me show you our milkshake. Well, can you hand okay. me that milkshake? Okay, so this is the signature drink, yes, right? Yes, this is actually what we're known for. When you come to Moonlight Diner, you have to get a milkshake. Okay, do you have milkshakes with alcohol here? Yes, we no have way, adult, really? yeah, we can I put was joking. I know, I know, but it's only beer and wine. So not a lot of people, but we do Coke floats. And we have all kinds of other seltzers that people can do in it. Do you want to so, try it? But this one doesn't have alcohol. This no. Is regular, yeah. Okay. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna trade the mimosa for this. <laughs> so wait. So what kind of alcohol can you put in this? So it's only beer and wine. Ah, oh, okay. That's what you said before. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of there's a lot of flavored beers and seltzers and stuff that people try to put in there, and they get really creative. Okay, guys. So I haven't had breakfast. I only had coffee this morning, and I'm gonna have a mimosa and a milkshake. This is my breakfast. Okay, so I want to explore the kitchen or what else should we explore in the restaurant? Like I already went outside. And yeah, so our patio, a lot of people like to have parties and do their events out on our patio. 
Also, we're kind of known for our restrooms because we have vintage. Yeah, you, you haven't been to the no, restroom? No, 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 no. Yeah, so we have vintage um, wallpaper in there with authentic magazine articles that have been plastered all over the walls. So a lot of okay. people do Instagram videos and their stories. I have to do in my Instagram restroom. Real. Okay, so let's go to the bathroom. Stay tuned. Since my friend said the bathrooms are very iconic and beautiful, I have to go and check them out. She said a lot of influencers come here to do the videos on the bathroom, so let's see. There's a lot of glare on my back. Man, woman, so let's go. This is a woman here. Ah, I see what she meant. This is so cool. You know what? I love the decoration of this restaurant. I love the milkshake, and I definitely love the mimosa. Wow, the music is loud in the bathroom. <laughs> and you guys know I love bathrooms. This one is a very peculiar. I like it, especially this the mirror, the wallpaper. Oh, look how nice you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> This is my favorite moment, the moment we eat. So we already have the signature drinks and an amazing mimosa. So I'm waiting for Jennifer to surprise me with my breakfast. So let's see what she's gonna bring. Hey amiga, you know we're going to another restaurant, right? Yeah. And it's one of your restaurants. So why do you order so much? Because the food <laughs> is just so good. Look at this. Red velvet pancakes, croissant French toast our traditional hungry man combo with eggs, hash browns, and a homemade biscuit. And How can you say no? Cappuccino. Okay guys, I love food, so I'm gonna have to stop right here because I need to taste a yes. little bit of everything. And of course, we're gonna have lunch at the other restaurant because the other restaurant is Italia, my favorite number one food. So stay tuned. Okay, let's just dig in. But Jennifer and I are going to our second location. The second location is called Fratelli's. It's in Dare Field, so it's not that far from where we were before in Fort Lauderdale. So I can't wait to show you guys the second restaurant. You guys know I love food, I love eating, I love wine and wineries and wine tasting. What I don't like is cooking. But here, my friend, is an amazing chef. She always cooks for all I of us. I got you covered, don't worry. <laughs> That's true. The last party we did, it was a vision board party. And guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. She cooked even the appetizers and the desserts. Usually just order appetizers and buy the dessert. No, she cooked everything from scratch. So thank you, Jennifer. We just arrived to our second location and I'm super excited because I love pizza and we're gonna go to the back. Yes! To see. Come follow me, let's make some pizzas. Wait, are we gonna make it? Yes, come on. <laughs> Am I allowed to cook? Yes, we're gonna let you in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so... Here we are and we oh, make our own wow. garlic naan. So this is I making love our garlic, garlic naan. bread. Yes, this fresh from scratch. scratch. And there's a mixer behind you over there where we mix it. Wait, what do you mean? Where you mix the dough. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is where they mix the dough. And then here, where we cook up the dough, <gasps> that in there. Wow, we're gonna have fresh garlic bread, my favorite one. Yes, we have all the toppings here for the pizzas. Hey guys, they are teaching me right now how to... Um, Stir the marinara. I love it when I can come inside the kitchen even though I don't really enjoy cooking that much I enjoy watching people cook I can learn but I never put that into practice but today I am going to practice how to make pizza I think that's what Jennifer said that I'm going to do right now we're gonna make pizza this is Carlos Carlos is gonna teach me how to make pizza today so today today 
Carlos, what kind of pizza we're going to cook today? Today we're going to make a vegetable pizza because it's very popular in the store. Okay. And healthy. <laughs> of course, everybody wants to be fit. Okay. We're trying to make the best pizza we can. So this is what we're going okay. to work on. Okay. Before, I want to give you the power. Yes. Okay, that's the power for the apron. So apron. I got to be sure you are ready. Yes, yes, let's do it. Okay. Like this, okay, like this, and then you go here. Oh. And, uh, look like you want to do cut up the picture. I'm right. ready. All right. Okay, perfect. So all let's right. start. As you can see, I'm all ready. I pull my hair back and I wash my hands. Very important. So I am ready to learn how to make pizza. I'm gonna try to imitate Carlos and try to do whatever he just did on the B-roll that you guys just saw. In the meantime, while we wait for my pizza to get ready, we're going to start with some capri salad. It looks like my pizza is ready. Carlos is going to take my pizza out so okay. I don't get burned. Let us see what happens. Oh. oh, look at this. Ciao, ciao.